Hey guys, Matt here from Herbal House. Today we're going to take a look at the 400 watt Samsung LM301B variant. So this panel definitely deserves its own video, uh, pretty much a fan favourite at the moment and we're going to do a quick run through all the components and features. This is the X-Red variant which uh, pretty much includes the remote driver and we'll cover how to install that and get it up and running. Right, so here we have the packaging you're expecting to receive. So nice plain brown packaging and of course just under the lid here it is fully insulated for courier protection just to ensure she gets to you safe. Now they do include two booklets here to help get you up and running and any information regarding the LEDs. And under the first piece of foam here we have the Four Seasons remote driver box. So this features two ELG meanwhile drivers to power the panel. Obviously it's got the two uh, outputs there and the dimmer control knob. Uh, let's just put this to the side. These are the power cables and interconnecting cables from the driver to the LED. And of course in this bag here they have all the hanging materials to basically set it up. Right at the very bottom we have the... Just get this out of here. As nice as I can. The magnificent 400 watt panel so this is pretty much a combination of four of the 100 watt versions so basically what you're going to see here is an x-red formation of the 660 osrams uh, but what you will see up close is a very good combination of 3500k and 5000k samsung lm301b diodes so what we'll do is we'll quickly show you how to set that up get it up and running and show you an installation all right so once you've got everything out of the box uh, essentially we're going to move on to setting it up uh, the main thing to do is essentially use a piece of polystyrene underneath it to keep it nice and protected because what we're going to do is just flip it over. Now once you remove the corner protective tabs, which are just these little plastic things, we're going to move on to setting up these hooks. So these are the hooks you need to start with. They come in up here like so. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hook those onto either corner. So just pulling them this way. I find it's easy to, you probably can't see that, but we'll get a close up. Pushing that on like so. On. Now this panel is set up pretty much the exact same way as the other Samsung and Quantum Par variants that we've done before, just like so. So that's going to give you a point to triangulate off there, don't worry about these clips just folding up, get those sorted easy enough. And uh, essentially what we're going to move on to is getting this thing hung up in the tent and then we'll be installing the driver. So we're going to quickly cover the driver box here from Four Seasons. Basically we're just going to give you a quick run through on the orientation of the plugs and the cables and uh, how to set that up. So main thing to separate here is we've got the two cables that connect from the driver to the LED. Now what you'll see is they have very similar looking plugs on either end and this one here is the main point of difference. This has your three pin power plug. So the three pin power plug that's going to go on the opposite end to where the dimmer knob is here on the back side so this will only go one way and basically what you're going to do is just gently rotate that until it slots right in there like so and fasten that up nice and tight so that's going to keep a nice waterproof connection keep everything tight on the back side here you're going to be connecting the male end to the dimmer side so what you're going to do is the same story just gently rotate those till they slot in do it up nice and tight and the second plug because there's two drivers in here to power this LED so just gently rotate that till it slots in if it would that'd be nice there we go like so so now that's ready to connect to the LED on this side this is ready to be plugged into your power and you're good to go so moving on to the next step is simply hanging the LED panel. All we've done here is just rest on the polystyrene in the bottom of the tent with the two hooks on the back there. So what we're going to do is take the adjustable ratchet hangers, there's two of them included. I'm just going to undo the rubber band that holds it all together. And pretty much what we're going to do is just hook on the main clip here, which is the one with the ratchet part first. And just snap that on like so. It's one. Orientate that around. That's two. Right, so, next step is to unravel the entire ratchet. Uh, what you'll see here is in this particular ratchet, it's got a release just on the side. Just going to push that and pull that through. Now, hot tip don't pull it all the way through because once the rope comes all the way through, it can be a little bit tricky to feed it back in, but almost all the way there. 
Same story for this one. Release the ratchet. Pull it all the way through. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is take these two ends and lift them up and hook them over the support beams in the top of the tent here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just going to take this hook, feed it up over the pole, and hook that back through onto itself, just like so. So we're going to do that with both of these hooks here. Just pop that over, feed that through, clip, ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the uh, small end there of the rope, and we're just going to lift. even as possible to the desired height. Now everyone's obviously going to be running these at different heights and adjusting them frequently to suit their part, but for argument's sake let's say we need it about halfway up the tent. So we'll just get that as even as possible and now we're ready to install the driver and off we go. Okay, so next step we're moving on to is simply hanging the driver here. So what you'll see is at the top of the driver it does have these hanging mounts either side. Now the final clips that are included here we've just unraveled. Pretty much all you're going to do, same, same style as the corner of the LED, just push those on there. Just on one side to start with, and then simply what we're going to do is lift it up to the pole, poop it over, back down, and we're just going to push that on there like so. So that's going to hang the LED driver at this specific height and what we're going to do is just hook on this last side. Just bear with me. Get it out of my pocket, there we go. If I can just push that without... There we go. Over the top of the pole. Okay, just push that there. Magic. Alright, so that's the LED driver, LED driver sorry, all set up and what we're going to do is just connect these cables to the LED, connect the power and we're good to go. Now remember, this is just the placement for the cables that they include. You can, if you absolutely have to, rest this on the back of the LED, however we do recommend setting it in the upright position so that you're not interfering with any heat rejection from the LED panel or the drivers. If these cables are long enough, uh, this LED driver can be placed outside of the tent of course to reduce heat from the tent further over those warmer summer months as such, um, but if you need to keep the heat or temperature up in the tent we'd recommend keeping this inside um, and pretty much this design here is to suit people who are looking to you know move the drivers around a little bit, a little bit different from when they were fixed to the back of the panel. They do include a two-year warranty straight out of the box and if you have any questions or inquiries feel free to give us a call. Thanks all for watching, there will be more videos to come in the near future, our details are in the description below. Give us a call and we'd love to hear from you. See you next time.